Hello there. In this video we're going to go over modeling some curves. So I'm given a list of data points and here I have the graph for them. So it's actually giving me the points over here, 0, 35, um, 2, 0, and you can kind of see that um, this one looks like it dips a little bit negative. And we might, we'll figure out where that minimum is. Uh, for 15, boop, and 6, 0. So uh, we have these four data points, and it looks like it's going down, up, down. So it makes sense to model this with a cubic. So we'll type this stuff into list 1, list 2, and then have the calculator do a, a cubic regression on that. And we get this uh, not particularly nice, but not all that ugly equation. And that's going to model that. That'll hit all those curves. Now, if I were interested in things such as local minimum or maximum, looks like we have a little a local minimum in here and a local maximum over here. But otherwise, this cubic, that's going to extend up infinitely, and that's going to extend down infinitely. So there's no global min or max. And uh, our calculator can do an analysis on this, so I'll go in here and set this up where we look for, in this little area here, we look for a minimum. And then we'll do that again in this little area here, we'll look for a maximum. So going through, um, our calculator is spitting out this information, that this minimum here is at 1.87 comma negative 0.11. We did see it dips down a little bit further. And this one's at um, 4.62, 17.29. Now, if I look at the curve, um, these things don't seem quite right. Like this 4.62, that should be here-ish. It looks like it's a little bit further to the right. And if I trace over at this 20, like 17.2, I would think 15. I think that would be around here, and it looks too high. And this one just... Uh, Trusting my number sense, 1.87, that should be to the left of 2, but it's graphically dipping down over to the right of 2. So something's not quite right here. And uh, it's because I didn't give you the full picture in the beginning. There's actually another point that this one goes through exactly. And I kind of lied about the number of points here. There's the point, this one actually also hits exactly um, 110. So you can kind of see here on the graph that it's hitting that point 110. Now if I add that in here, so I'm going to add down here, we're going to go through the point uh, 110. And now because I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 points, uh, I'm actually going to do a cortic regression. So I get this really wild looking equation. Um, still hitting the 35 exactly, so, so that's kind of nice. Um, but yeah, uh, that, that, that there was this other data point. Now if I extend this graph out further uh, and then look on the chart, I can actually see that this one's shooting like way up. I yeah, probably can't get it on there. And then it's coming down. Um, not painting actually the best picture here. This one's shooting super, super high up. So actually that should be even steeper. And then coming down, looks like a little bit past negative 5. Um, but that's going to change where this uh, local min and max are. Now, uh, we'll go in here and we can type in local minimum again. And we actually get a much more sensible number now. Uh, that It looked like it was a little bit past the 2, and it is 2.16 comma uh, 0.19-ish. And we can go over here for that local maximum, and we get uh, 4.83 comma 20.32. And... Um, we, we, we previously thought that 4.62 was a little bit low, should be a little bit closer to the 5. And also, moving over here at that 20, it, it makes sense now that that's at 20.32. 17 seemed too low. So this does seem to be a much better um, uh, model for what we were seeing here, because I, I was lying a little bit. There wasn't, I didn't tell you that it goes through 110. Now, there's actually one other thing about this. So it, if this was a cubic, you know, this, this would be extending up here infinitely, and this would be extending down here infinitely. But because this is a cortex, degree power 4, um, 
this is extending down infinitely, and we're going uh, bend up, bend down, bend up, and then we're coming way over here, bend down again. So this actually extends down infinitely, kind of like a, an M shape. And somewhere way up here, there's actually a global maximum. So we can find that one too. And with a little bit of rounding here, uh, this one, it wasn't going to fit on the page. It's absolutely huge. Negative 2.996. So just a little bit under 3, it looks like. Comma 120. Um, and this, uh, maybe it's a little bit bigger than 120. Calculator seems to say so, but... Uh, We'll need algebraic techniques in a future math class to verify exactly where that is. Right now we're trusting our calculator to find these local minimums, maximums, and in this case this one way up there is a global maximum. Alright, thanks for watching. Character and Scholarship for Life.